Japanese cuisine is depicted in its natural beauty. The food culture is cultivated by strong references to the Four Seasons and its people's appreciation for beauty. There is a book which summarizes the heart and soul of cooking techniques. Nihon Ryori Daizen. これは日本料理のバイブルです。料理人だけと違って、文系の学者、理系の学者、一緒に作った世界で最初の本です。これによって日本料理が世界に広がり、日本の文化を理解してもらう上に役立てばありがたいと思っております。それでは今回はまず冬編です。Encyclopedia of Japanese Cuisine Silver in winter. Among annual events, the Japanese truly cherish New Year's festivities. The Japanese believe that the deity of luck, Toshigami, brings them happiness and that the body and soul are reborn, and so they eagerly welcome the New Year. In order to ring in the New Year, Chefs make every effort to prepare traditional New Year's dishes, osechi. Osechi とは一年の幸せを象徴する多様な料理を重箱に詰めて、技を打ち払い、幸福を招き寄せる祈りを捧げられた料理です。Precious memories are woven into food for osechi. Black beans, kudomame, which phonetically means a healthy and industrious life, symbolizes a deep tan from being outside. Herring roe, kazunoko, literally means a multitude of eggs, evoking hope for future generations to prosper. Even the New Year's soup, zoni, eaten with the family, is meaningful. Kyoto style zoni is made with white miso. Kyoto carrots, radishes, and small potatoes. It is customary to add a piece of round rice cake, marumochi. Ozoni wa motomoto ano toshigami sama ni osonai o shita tabemono o taite tabeta koto ga hirai nan desu. Kami sama no onke o itadaku toyu imi ai de taberate kita engi mono desu. Sea bream is broiled whole and called glaring sea bream nirami dai. For the new year in Kyoto, the fish is not eaten for three days, just looked at. Hence the name "glaring sea bream." Culinary wisdom says that the meat of the sea bream tastes best after three days. This is the custom in Kyoto. Celebratory chopsticks, iwaibashi, are used with New Year's dishes. The Japanese spirit is carved into both ends of the tapered chopsticks. これは野菜料理と魚やな肉料理の味が混じらないように両方を使い分けるという意味があります。それからもう一つには神様と人と両方を使い分けるという意味もあります。Celebratory chopsticks, iwaibashi, are used to partake of food with the gods. A paper cord, mizuhiki, symbolizing a seal, is used to secure the chopsticks. The cord signifies that it is unused and brand new. After the new year, the art of creating Japanese cuisine lies in steaming. And simmering. The heat from steaming provides indirect warmth, ensuring that flavor and nutrients are retained, resulting in a mellow, gentle steam dish. Tile fish are steamed, topped with a light sauce, and transformed into steamed tile fish and millet. Millet itself is textured, but when steamed, it becomes sticky like mochi. There are five colors: green. Red, white, yellow, and black, of which the green bean paste blends in with the red and white. 
Hues of yellow turn it into a winter dish. This is duck broth. Turnip is sliced paper thin to cover the broth, reminiscent of thin ice. Infused in the broth is a mugwort rice cake, kusa mochi, while turnips and carrots add color to the steamed dish, signaling that spring is not far away. Steaming is the art of blending seasonings with ingredients. In a single bowl of simmered food, nimono, one finds a composite of seasoning, ingredients, preparation, and fragrance that make up the essence of Japanese cuisine. It is as elegant and refined as this bowl, and rather than the obvious, the expression is subtle and ethereal. This is what defines Japanese beauty. No, a form of classical theater was born out of the Japanese sense of beauty. was introduced during the 14th through the 15th centuries and is unique to Japanese classical drama. Yugen, or mystic beauty, is the word used to describe the world of no. Yu means phantom, and gen implies a delicate haze. Over the years, it has come to mean elegant beauty. Cherishing the taste of each ingredient in a dish and allowing the taste to linger is also part of the aesthetics of Japanese beauty. Japanese cuisine speaks to our senses. The sweet fragrance of a flower in bloom blends with the breeze and signals the coming of spring. <laughs>